I received an email yesterday that claimed that one of these translations has a, quote, error in it. So I thought I would look into it. This has to do with the star that appeared at Jesus' birth. Now I have to say before I get started that you really need to decide what you think this star is. For me, because the star pointed not just to Bethlehem, but to the room where Jesus was, it's hard for me to believe this is a natural phenomenon. I have to assume that it's a star that God created to announce the birth of his son and the fulfillment of his messianic promises. Now, you may or may not agree with that, but what you think about that star is going to affect how you translate this passage. So let's look at it. We'll start up in verse 1 with a genitive absolute. Jesus being born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king. In other words, after Jesus had been born, behold, magi, and I kind of resist calling them wise men. I may have to change that in my translation. I think magi is better because they're astrologers of some sort, and I'm not sure you want to call them wise men. But anyway, wise men or magi from the east, they came to Jerusalem saying, where is the one who has been born? So there's your substantival participle. The one who has been born king of the Jews. For we saw, and here's our passage now, of him the star. In other words, we saw his star, a star that specifically was connected to Jesus. And when did they see it? They saw it in Te Anatole. Then we'll come back to that. And we have come to worship him. Now, what is this? I mean, the King James translates it in the East. Modern translations tend to say something more like when it arose. But let's take a look at it. It means the rising, such as stars. The position of the rising, you can remember stars are going to be coming up on the East horizon. Or it can also mean the dawn. I think the basic meaning of the word is at its rising, and that's why almost all translations go with that now. The NIV has when it rose, NASB in the east, ESV from the east, CSB at its rising, NRSV at its rising, Net Bible, when it rose, the NLT, as it rose. Now, in some of these translations, they're going to give you a footnote for the difference. The ESV says, or in the east. NRSV also footnotes in the east. And the Net Bible gives its expected longer answer. So, how are we going to translate Anatole? If the word primarily refers to the rising of the stars, which happens to be in the east, then at its rising is probably a more accurate translation. Well, I want to point out just a couple of things. First of all, the same word has occurred earlier in verse 1, where it clearly means east. And so when you get down to the next verse, that is an argument to translate it as east. But when I talk about modern translations and what they do, uh, you need to understand that as far as the NASB is concerned, and they have from the East, the NASB really defaults to the King James over and over and over again. That's the pattern. So I'm not sure that you could really use the NASB as a second evidence along with the King James. And the same would be true with the New King James. That is just primarily a, an English update of the King James, so it's not really a second evidence. 
But it is important, I think, that the word has appeared in the context and clearly means east. And that would be the primary argument to go with saying from the east. But saying at its arising really feels like awkward English to me. And because of my view of what the star was, I actually prefer a translation for we saw a star when it appeared. Yes, it did rise. It did rise from the east. But the point is, I think, this is a brand new star. And the Magi weren't used to seeing it. And so what's the most natural way to express that? When it appeared. But either way, saying at its rising is not a mistranslation. It's the primary meaning of the word. And stars happen to rise in the east.